Hello, Frankenstein's for man. It looks bright. Hello, Frankenstein's Sonic Entertainer, and today I'm gonna show you how to make cu custom guitar hero songs. Now, what I mean by this, but from the title maybe, is that I mean that I'm trying. I'm gonna show you how to make guitar battle custom songs. See so, ya. Yeah, I was able to do this with guitar hero control panel. I was able to do it with the Zach Wild chart from Guitar Hero 4 World Tour and stuff and yeah World Tour is actually Guitar Hero 4 but anyways so yeah the way I want to start is like grab a song I got a song loaded already and I'm gonna try to oh it's not the one I'm gonna try to edit the Alright, so I finished charting most of the stuff, and here's what the few view looks like before I get to the second part of the chart. Sorry for copyright infringement, if you can hear a little bit. I'm also using this music for my live streams on Twitch. Once I finally get famous, maybe. But yeah. So that's what the guitar looks. So yeah, the guitar is this on this side, and the co-op bass is on that side. So that way, it, you know. So I'm gonna import the notes for the second player, and then I'll get to the part where it uses the face-off physics, where you can, you know. So I'll do that real quick. Why didn't it pause? Alright, so finally I was able to pause it. Sometimes my control key doesn't work. I use control all sometimes, but you know. Here's, here's a preview. This is the thing earlier. Oops, there we go. So here's what I put. But yeah, if you press tab, you could also show reference track, which can show a secondary track. So yeah, now that we have that cleared up, let's finally add the face-off physics. So, I believe if you... Hold on. Hold on. Which key? Oh, there we go. There we go, I found the keys for the face off part. So I'm gonna switch to guitar and <coughs> and switch this. Now to make it so that it, it the chart plays a specific part for you, you press well on the if you check on the key things, there's PS1 and PS2, now don't get confused with PlayStation, PS1 is for Play 1 Face Off or whatever, and PS2 is like, for the second part where it's like, yeah, whatever. But what you do is hold down 6 for whatever part you want to it to be in your custom song. There we go. Sometimes it's a, a bug where the the not lit ones just sort of glitch out and sort of disappear. Now we're going to switch to the co-op base to enable the second player ability. Wait, what? What? Oh, it's because I have a reference track which means it's harder to see if I really just, you know, Right, because I'm on... There we go. And I'm gonna go back to guitar and enable the other track part. So, right here, do that. And stuff. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Plus that sound with just the save sound, so don't worry about it. Or you could just press there. So yeah, press escape to access that tab to do that, and V for volume stuff, and M and N for clapboard and metronome, but that's not what we're talking about, we're not talking about the keyboards right now, we're just, you know, also you can make it so that, oh, poop, 
Look. Let me do that. I meant to hit seven or just player two, you know. So yeah, you could also do the same part for that or something. So let's save this and put it into Guitar Hero Control Panel. Yeah, so yeah, this is my desktop in case if you want to notice. But yeah, right here is the Guitar Hero Control Panel. I could probably do uh, probably lead you to the download to score hero forms but yeah hold on let me screen capture this part instead of my desktop because yeah that's how I am so yeah what you want to do is well you can't see it but um I am choosing the game setting and and here is alright so we're in so I do have a second download thing for some reason when I tried to put the, the songs I tried to input on that it didn't work so I'm trying it on download to you so we're gonna add new song and custom battle tutorial guitar track and I tried to input the shortcut but it shortcut for custom songs but it's freaking oh right you can't see it on the thing sorry but yeah put that put that and now to make it so that the boss battle works you can see that there's I can't, you can't see it again but right here to make it so that the boss battle thing you know just works make sure to put a for player one put face off p1 or you could just do it any way you like but yeah you'll when you click the drop menu or whatever it that will work and stuff and let's apply this and bring up another screen capture part but yeah, this reminds me of those toys that could like damage the content. But I, right now I have Guitar Hero Aerosmith, so yeah, that works on 64 bit instead of Guitar Hero 3 working on it as you know. But to make the boss properties work, you can choose Joe Perry props or Tom Morello props. Now, the reason why it says Joe Perry props, so you couldn't see the drop menu again, but. The reason why it has steel parries, like I said earlier, I'm running Aerosmith because Guitar Hero 3 is for like Windows XP or 32, just 32 bit. But yeah, let's just put this as boss battle tutorial. Let's put in my channel name as that, you know, 2000 and beep. Now you can see that we got it right here, and let's put it here next to the Zach Wall thing that I made. Now you want to click Execute Actions if you're happy with your settings of the, you know, and then you will see a little thing that says the processing of, you know, so you can vlog or close it, but. Now we have finally imported that, and I'm gonna open Guitar Hero real quickly. So yeah guys, I'm finally in the Guitar Hero game. Now yeah, still this is Aerosmith, so I'll do it with it and stuff. Now to make it work, make the song confirmation work, you press red fret. On another song importer, it needed you to press green fret two times. So if you if you play your guitar battle in quick play, it will just get you stuck on the screen. And I crashed because I never I was expecting sort of it to ah well guys I'll be right all right I'm back and I got it to work and the game usually starts you off with lefties flip settings I don't know how you can fix it but so yeah here goes the battle. 
like I said earlier, the death gen won't work, it's just kind of there. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And yeah, the way how I see the screen is sort of not as wide as you see the recording or something. But yeah, this has to work on career mode like every guitar battle ever, or it won't work. And the way it goes on. And yeah, and normally in custom guitar battles, or if you like hack the game so that you can pass through the whole song without the death gen getting you, it will actually confirm you as winning. So yeah, that's pretty weird. Boss Battle Tutorial by Donna Ken 15 2015! And yeah, still, boss, boss Battles are able to give you scores when, yeah. It sort of looks glitchy how they have the custom guitar battle thing. But yeah, we got a few monies. We actually got money from being able to play a custom song. That's pretty amazing. But yeah, it will count as a score instead of saying, you know, the thing. It won't say battle one, it was, I guess I'll just say that instead. And since this is like a custom venue or something, it will not show a poster. So yeah, that's pretty much it for custom guitar battle imports. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this tutorial has helped you along with importing different Guitar Hero songs from like different games like you know and still Guitar Hero Earthman and Guitar Hero 3 is the only, only only two games to feature this kind of guitar battle but I'll actually show you that it doesn't work when it won't work when you know so yeah if I try it in quick play oh right I was in quick play I almost quit that's probably a bad idea so if I try to select it will keep me stuck on the screen see I'm pressing stuff but it ain't working because I guess it doesn't allow it's still probably why they don't allow you to play these things in you know but it'll be because it's just very oh my god it's happening at me times me again yeah no just kidding it's gone but it'll be because it's this tutorial again that's what happens when you normally play it on quick play and stuff hopefully this will help you remember to use six and seven to import different face off face off player one and two but i'll see you in the next video leave a like three times as I said three times or whatever but I'll see you in the next video enjoy season two by the way this is 200 videos surprise but I'm making this ending too long so I'm just gonna end it now bye why isn't it playing there we go